The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, Off Tap family? Welcome back to another vlog. It's your homie, Faith Chase, aka Crossfects, aka Chosen Effect, back on the deck, getting ready to wreck the set. And don't you forget, guys, today I'm super excited because we have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five paid requests that has happened on the offtap.life website, which means you guys um, are, yeah, you've seen the, the videos that I've talked about it. And you guys, it's pretty fun. It's exciting because it's set up so easy for you. You've got two choices. You get a regular, uh, you know, reaction request. That's $5. And um, the turnaround time for that is usually between 24 hours and 72 hours at current time. And then you can get a priority reaction request for $10. And the turnaround time for that is one hour to 24 hours. Give or take a few hours, guys, um, at the moment, because obviously, you know, this is something that's going to fluctuate, you know, based on supply and demand. So the busier we get, obviously, it may, you know, stagger back a little ways. And if it's not as busy, then it may, you know, become quicker. So we'll just see how we go with this. But um, at the moment, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty quick, pretty efficient. We don't have that many at the moment yet, but feel free to go over there if you want to guarantee your reaction that you want to go to the front of the queue because all those reactions that you guys put in the comments and stuff like that, yeah, it's a long list, obviously. I mean, we've got a zillion people requesting stuff on there, so I devised this strategy because there's some people who just really, really, really want to hear it now and they don't want to wait, so that way you can pay um, and uh, it moves to the front of the queue. And yeah, I think that's fair and that's cool. Plus, everything that you guys are doing right now when you do these paid reactions, the donations that I've received, um, you know, if you buy merch, if anything that you know that you guys do right now is so appreciated. It helps me out a lot right now in particular as you guys, if you watch the other video, you know my situation. But yeah, long story short, it helps me to be able to survive, which is, you know, this is my full-time gig now, this is what I'm doing. Um, it's just what's happened and this is the position that I'm in. So I appreciate your help. It is so, so much appreciated. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. And if you're someone who's not in a situation who can donate or buy merch or do all these things, you know, I understand everyone's going through stuff, but when you subscribe to the channel, when you give it a like, when you give a comment, that also helps a lot. Um, with the YouTube algorithm, it gets the video out there more and um, it means more people eyes on the product and potentially, you know, it helps hopefully with getting, you know, um, more monetized views and things. So everything helps guys. So I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Really, really thank you so much. So anyways, we've gotten that out of the way. By the way, if you do want to get merch or also we've got our own Patreon style membership happening on the Off Tap Life website. Some of you guys have already joined up to that as well. So I wanna thank you and welcome you guys to that. Um, our Patreon style site is pretty cool. We've got our own activity feed and all kinds of cool things that we're building on there. The Off Tap Life website is our hub, man. It is dope and it's just, it's growing and growing and it's getting super cool and lots of cool things on there already. So go over there and check it out. One site is all you have to remember now. We don't have to have a million links, but you still can go to like paypal.me slash off tap life if you want to just make a straight donation and skip the website. But you can make donations from directly from the website as well. You can do everything from there. It's all there. So yeah. Thank you guys, appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and joining the family. By the way, speaking of subscribing, guys, I've, I've got this thing on YouTube, it shows our analytics, and it's like, there's only like around, even though tons of you guys watch the videos, like 
it says that most of the people who are watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel, even though I know it's you guys that are watching the videos. So if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button, it would really, really help out. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this reaction now. I've kind of said all that, but this is our first like official, it's kind of the second one technically because we had the other one that you guys know we just did as well. So yeah, but anyways, this is the first one that's come from the new setup on the website. So um, guys, this right here is uh, Creed Fisher, if you have a right to burn my flag. And this was requested by Jimmy Harris, who's been a subscriber and a supporter of the channel for a long time now. And so thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Uh, means the world to me. And um, here's your request. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this for me, for Jimmy, and for you. Let's go. Creed Fisher, if you have a right to burn my flag. Let's get it. Yourself how to get that way. Woo, right off the back. Land of the free, home of the brave. Have you ever asked yourself how it got that way? That is deep. Right off the back. Have you ever really thought about it? Have you thought about it? You know, a lot of people had to make a lot of sacrifices. A lot of people had to die. A lot of bloodshed. A lot of stuff had to happen so that each and every one of you, okay, have the freedoms that you have now. A lot had to happen, man. This is deep. Let's keep going. Let's see what else Creed has to say. Whew, right off the back. That way. Times are changing. Mm -hmm. The president lost his mind. Mm. Everything's upside down and that just ain't right. Woo. By the way, I personally really have a problem with people disrespecting, you know, our flag. I, I, I think it is such a freaking evil thing to do, to do that. And I think any country, because I know we've got people watching this video reaction now from all over the world. I'd say the same thing in your country. If you have people disrespecting your flag, it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just rude. It's just it's so rude. It's so, oh, I just, the sight of it just makes me just feel so freaking horrible, you know? You gotta have love for your, your roots, for your country. You have to have pride in that, you know, no matter what country you're from. That's important, you know? Be proud of where you're from. I say this all the time. Be proud of where you've come from, you know? Anyways, let's keep going. Whew, I like this country vibe too, man. You don't like her country. You don't like her flag. Woo. But you think that we give a damn about that. <laughs> There's a million pissed off rednecks just like me. Not just only rednecks, by the way. There's a lot of pissed off Americans, like on a whole. Not only rednecks. I just want to point that out. If, if you really want to be technical, there's even people from other countries pissed off as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we're all sick and tired of this bullshit on TV. Yep. Fake news, freaking media's men, I'm telling you, man. Some of the stuff that just be, yeah, y'all know. Y'all are part of this world. And some of it's freaking just not even whether it's fake or not. It's just like, why does media always have to... Just, it's like they, they, they blow things out of proportion to the point where it's like, you, you, you find it hard to know what is, yeah, real and what's not real, what is factual, what is freaking make-believe. It's a lot of things they're just trying to sell views, you know, sell ratings, sell, you know, newspapers and 
freaking all that kind of stuff, man. Like it's it's hard to know, man. He, this did not. This is song's not lying. This is facts, man. This is facts. Sad but true. Let's keep going. Whew, this is most deep ones, man. I guess you didn't know, but you don't miss the journey. By the way, quickly, General Lee, um, I used to watch Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> the name of the Dukes of Hazard car was a General Lee, which is not what he's talking about. General Lee is actually go back to history school if you don't freaking know. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out that I remember seeing the Confederate flag on the top of the General Lee and it had General Lee on it, the Dukes of Hazard. And every time I think of General Lee, I think about that, but I also think about the interesting thing I'm gonna tell you guys. I think about the Confederate flag and things like that. I think about Dukes of Hazzard. I think about all these things. I think about friends that I've had who've had the Confederate belt buckles and Confederate, I've gone to their house and they've got the Confederate flags up there, the rebel flag, all that kind of stuff. Like, dude, like I wanna point this out again. I can't say this enough. You guys have heard me say this in other videos and I'm gonna say it again right now and be very clear just because you have a freaking rebel flag just because you have a if you have any just because does not mean that you're a racist or anything like that you guys need to open your eyes man like really open your eyes like you you guys are freaking buying into the fake news stuff you know what i'm saying like i'm telling you some people i know are freaking as redneck as they come but they're freaking solid people man Got nothing but mad love for them, and they got mad love for me. Like, man, I'm telling you right now, on my channel right here, okay, we've got tons of freaking people from down south who they would call themselves a redneck. They would, they consider themselves a redneck, okay? But they are freaking not racist. They're freaking good, hardworking, honest Americans. And I'm just, I hate the division. I hate the labels, I hate the stereotypes because we have so many stereotypes in our country. It's ridiculous the amount of false information that is going around that people are just being brainwashed by stupid comments and things. It's not the reality of the world that we live in, man. You know, it's just crazy. This is gonna be one, this is one, this has become one of those freaking videos to each to their own, man. But you know what I'm saying? We should just hashtag spread love, not hate, as you guys already know. I'm saying this all the time. Respect and love one another and understand that that's part of our country and our society. Listen and understand freedom of speech, freedom of all those things that we have press and everything. That's part of it. You could, you're not always going to agree on everything. We have Democrats, we have Republicans. You have pro, um, you know, this and anti that and freaking all these kind of different things but that's part of our society that's, that's the way we are built on freedoms you know freedom of choice all these different things at the end of the day though it's about respecting each other's beliefs and differences and opinions and all these kind of things and coming together still and meeting in a happy place you know respecting the fact that ultimately the only thing that really matters is we're all all people and we all bleed the same blood and if you happen to be an American watching this right now we're all Americans that's all that should really matter at the end of the day come together and on the planet earth we're all earthlings I'll just throw that out there <laughs> we're all you know from earth because we're here together on earth there could be some aliens, but anyway, we'll talk about that now. Make some more controversy. <laughs> Let's keep going with this song, man. Ah, Jimmy, you picked this song, man. You freaking got me. I tried. Ah, let me just keep going with this reaction. And I have a right to kick your ass. I think I need to rewind that because I think he said something else before that. I think I might have missed it. 
I have a right to kick your ass. <laughs> Let me rewind that again. I think there's more to that. Okay, the General Lee part. Let's go. But you don't miss the General Lee. I just remembered why they're talking about you don't mess with General Lee too. I think in the news at one stage, um, some people were um, wanting to have that removed, the statue there, because they were saying that it um, was racist or something like that. Um, and you know, this other thing, guys, we have a history. Stuff happened, okay? Some good, some not so good. It's part of our history. But it's that history that makes us who we are today. And we can't pretend like it didn't happen because it did. Our history is our history. But it is part of us. And it is part of what makes us great now because we have had time to grow as a country together and experience all this stuff, the good, the bad, all these different things. And it is part of who we are. You can't just sit there and pretend like it didn't happen. No, what you gotta do is you learn the lessons. You learn from all these things that happen in history and you grow from it. You grow from it. You don't pretend like it wasn't a thing. What, just because you take the statue down doesn't change the fact that it's part of our history. Use it as a reminder and use it as a way to grow and to learn and to become better. Come on, it's part of our history. Again, people just thinking, oh, because it's there, it means it's racist. No, no, guys. Okay? I've said this a million times. I'll say it a million other times. And uh, anyways, I'll probably say it a million more, but let's keep going with the video. This is going to be a long reaction. I didn't even mean it to be. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only one minute, ten seconds in. Lord have mercy. What else is he going to say in this song? <laughs> Let's go. You have a right to burn my flag, and I have a right to kick your ass. That's the thing, man. I, I knew I needed to hear that part again because, yeah, man, people burning flags, not on, not cool. Same thing about standing on them. Don't burn them. Just rude, disrespectful. Don't do it. That is just way, there's, there's boundaries. Like there's boundaries, yeah, there's just literally boundaries. You can't cross that line, man. Once you cross that line, man, all respect for you gone. You know what I'm saying? Like don't be burning, and that goes for any country. Don't burn any country's flag. Show respect for other countries, their way of life. You gotta show love. We're, we need to be more understanding and patient with every person. And planet and you know what I'm saying I mean, every planet but <laughs> every country all people from all over the world respect each other you know like and be proud of where you're from and just don't burn any flags just don't do it I hope that the stupid thing that's going around the planet right now my one hope if we could turn a negative into a positive it brings all of us a bit closer to each other you know it just brings us together more I just, the division and the separation and the freaking, even just within towns, it's not even only just, you know, countries, it's cities, it's, it's, it's little towns, it's everywhere. I just, oh, just two, 2020, guys, let's, let's try. 2020, come on. Come on, man, jeez. Let's go. <sighs> Jimmy, see, you requested this. And you knew, you knew how it was going to get, Jimmy. That's why you requested it. <laughs> Let's go. It's a good song. About to kick your ass. We don't like our traditions. You say we've done you wrong. Why don't you pack up your bags and take your ass back home? <laughs> this is my home. Son, I'm mad as hell I think whooping your ass is worth a couple nights in jail There's a million pissed off rednecks just like me Um, I want to add to that a million pissed off Americans. Not only rednecks, everyone's pissed off. And you can even say there's people pissed off from other countries. But 
saying like we're a lot of angry people around, but that's why we gotta try harder. We gotta try harder to come together and just change the freaking whole narrative, guys. Like hashtag spread love, not hate. That's it, right there. Show respect, love. Love's the key. Just love a little more. That much more. Watch the difference that happens. That much. Let's go. And we're all sick and tired of this bullshit called PC. I guess you didn't know, but you don't mess with generally. It's a tricky, you know, it's a, it's a tricky topic, guys. Like, it, all this is kind of because of our freedoms, the way everything is set up, freedom of press, freedom of speech, all these things. It is tricky. I get it. But that's why we got to just respect each other's opinions, but still love one another and and come together. It's just still about love. And, and it all really boils down to love. If you love, you know, yourself enough you know, you will also, I don't know, man. I ain't going to turn this into a freaking, this is going to end up being a 50 minute video. I'm not going to even go in there. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to finish the song up because, you know, let's just talk about the country vibe. It's a dope country vibe. I like, this is just a vibe, man. I like it. You know, it's controversial. It's deep. Some people are going to get weird about it because that's what happens with songs like this. But at the end of the day, appreciate the song for what it is. It's, it's someone who wants to express how they feel about the current events and things that were going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, each to their own. You, but you gotta just respect other people's, you know, feelings and things as well. You know, if you could walk in someone else's show, shoes and you'd get a better idea of why they feel the way they do. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, guys, it's about the love. Let's just let's just finish this. Jimmy. say that sign there as well the sign says black lives matter i gotta tell you guys i am so i i hate that sign i do i don't like it i'm i'm so about all lives matter it's not even funny i don't like i'm i'm anti-label freaking black lives this and and other lives or whoever is doing whatever i don't even follow all of it i just know that i the first time i saw the black lives matter thing I'm like there we go that's 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 going to freaking just do what exactly? You know what I'm saying? What? It's, it's showing division. Like to me, again, it's not black lives. It's it's all lives. Like every single life matters. Like I don't like signaling out one race or, you know, a group of people. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all freaking every single life matters. Okay. Every single American life matters. Every single Australian life freaking whatever country you are every single blue life if your skin is blue if it's yellow if it's green turquoise with polka dots like every life matters and I want to further that life matters and also say that life also includes this could get more controversial but I think all life matters on this planet like that includes animals and stuff so I like that they have if you know these new plant-based things coming out and stuff. That's freaking great. Not because they're healthier, because most of them aren't healthier. And look, I'm going to tell you right now, like I'm technically kind of a vegetarian, but I'm the best vegetarian in the world. Cause I will every now and then, yes, I will eat some meat because my body tells me I need it. I listen to my body. If it says, get some meat, I'm going to get some meat. But that being said, I don't like the fact that that's happening because I do respect all life. So, you know, this plant-based stuff that's happening, if you got a plant-based option that will give you the nutrients and things that you still need, like iron and all these things. Usually a lot of people who don't eat meat, you end up iron deficient and all this other stuff and etc. you know. 
you just gotta listen to your body really and that's a topic for another day but ultimately i do believe all life matters it does matter you know but that being said you know yeah it's a, again just a controversial topic another one it's just hard i don't know guys that's a hard topic because you know you need food you got to eat i mean it's i don't know because even fish you know fish matter i mean fish are cute too some of them really cute like did you see nemo like <laughs> but you know i've had salmon i had tuna yesterday like i, I eat fish I, it's kind of not really the best fish i mean it's mcdonald's fish fillet that still counts right still oh, okay this this conversation this reaction is going nowhere fast jimmy why did you get me into this situation let's keep going let's bring this home oh my gosh this oh my gosh let's just I have a right to burn my flag And I have a right to kick your ass There's a million pissed off rednecks just like me And we're all sick and tired of this bullshit on TV I guess you didn't know that you don't mess with Jim Kick your ass. Woo. Jeez. That song was deep, like crazy deep. Like, it is that song. You know, there's these songs. That was one of those songs, man. Jimmy, thank you for the request. I do appreciate the request. It's a great freaking, like, country song. It's a real freaking country song. Has real issues in it, real things, talking about real things that are really going on. And I like songs that spark debate and conversation. It gets you talking and thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? And look, there's two sides to every freaking coin. It's just a part of freaking reality of the world we live in. But you gotta respect both sides you know what i'm saying you just got to show respect and respect that people have their opinions their thoughts everyone's not going to think like you everyone's not going to feel like you but at the same token you have to learn to respect that you know we all are different but we're all the same you know what i'm saying we're still all people we're still all same color blood and all that kind of stuff at the end of the day though we all have different thoughts and different reasons why we think the way we do. So if we take the time to try to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and understand and see their point of view and understand and talk to them and we spend time doing this, we could change a lot just by doing that, just by being understanding and patient and respect and most importantly, have all of that grounded and fueled by love. I could go on with this topic, guys. Maybe one day I should do a freaking three hour video about this stuff, but today is not that day. We're gonna end this here. Thank you for watching. Remember to live each moment to the fullest. Keep it off tap. Thank you for your requests. I appreciate it. All the best, Jimmy, and uh, yeah, I'll chat to you guys soon.